All right. I'm going to need this. American Skin is written and directed by Nate Parker, and the film is about a war veteran who loses his son due to some police violence, and after not getting any justice for his death, this veteran by the name of Lincoln Jefferson decides to take matters into his own hands and holds a police precinct hostage, and there is where he decides to hold his own trial, if you will, and decide to, you know, seek his own justice. Yeah. Now, just for a warning for you guys, this film... I'm not going to talk about I'm not going to talk about anything about whether what I agree with or disagree with in as far as the subject matter goes. For this channel, I'm only going to just talk about what I liked about the film, what I didn't like about the film, just as a movie in itself and tell you what my experience was with it. As far as the ideologies that's that's expressed in this whole thing, you know, I'm not going to lay on that kind of stuff. That's a whole different conversation, something completely unrelated to this. I'm I'm just going to stick to how I felt about the movie. Off the bat, I just want to say, I think the cast is pretty incredible in this one. Nate Parker, as always, is, is terrific in all of his stuff. You can feel the tragedy is really weighing heavy on this character, and I thought uh, Nate Parker really did uh, did a pretty good job on that one. I mean, all across the board, the acting is pretty phenomenal. I mean, there's really no there's really no uh, shortcomings in, in that area. I think they did a really good job with casting. You got Amari Hardwick back to his old ghost ways you know he, he sort of um, he's he's a little darker in this in this role he's pretty cynical and everything <laughs> you know he's dealing with cancer and kind of doesn't you know you feel you, you can tell he doesn't have a lot to lose there so you know what whatever happens that happens in the film obviously he's going to be on board with that but i thought he did a pretty good job i do wish that we saw a little bit more of his character though i mean he's out of all the cast members that we saw i mean he was the one that was the most interesting to me at least in my opinion you know i wanted to know more about like his background with the uh his military background and so i mean the film kind of just you know it doesn't give you that access you know he they ask him you know want to tell us a little bit about the background he just says no um, and we get it why he would say that, but you know, I feel like there was a lot on his mind that I really wanted to just explore a little bit. What I wanted to see mostly is how this cancer would have played a part, you know, in this plot, you know, because there's a lot going on in this film and, you know, I feel like that cancer would have been, you know, at least, at least a good piece to kind of add in to like add some of the stakes, I guess. But, you know, the film doesn't really use it. It's just more so just this guy that has cancer. <laughs> Nate Parker's directing isn't really bad either. I mean, he played it safe in this film as well. Um, you can, I mean, the the film sort of takes this documentary type approach, so everything is a little bit more naturalistic, um, a little bit more grounding, grounded in reality, and so it doesn't need all of the cinematic shots that you know he had in in Birth of a Nation. I just, I love cinematic shots. You know, I just love cinematic wise and and things like that. But hey, it's it's fine. You can get everything. Theo Rossi, you know, does a good job as well as the uh, as the officer, and it was nice to see him kind of come back to this. You know, I haven't seen Theo in a, in, a, in a while. You know, I, the last time I saw him was in you know Sons of Anarchy, and he did a really good job in that show. And I think I saw, yeah, he was. I saw him a little bit too in uh, in one of, in the Luke Cage show season one, and that's sort of all I I saw from him. I, I wanted to see a little bit more, and, and kind of seeing him come back you know, into the fold and for a movie like this was interesting. It was definitely interesting, you know. Bo Knapp, who also plays the officer who um, is responsible for killing Lincoln's son, um, did a fantastic job as well. I mean, that, <laughs> the strength that that guy had to go through to just embody those emotions, man, like, really, really good job, especially for, like, with themes as heavy as this. So, you know, that was that was some good. That was some good stuff. Now, Sean Paul McGee, I haven't really seen him in a lot of things, but his character, um, to me, was the standout for me in this entire thing. His character's name was Jordan, and I feel like his character was trying to add some semblance of reason, <laughs> you know, into this whole this whole chaos. He's this middle class kid that doesn't have to deal with all of the things that are happening in, in other neighborhoods. So he does come in you know, a little bit green in some of these areas. But I thought that, you know, just, you know, him performing this, the, the conflicting feelings that he was having, you know, as, you know, people were telling those stories about what goes on in the neighborhoods, you know, I think he did a really good job at just really uh, playing those emotions well. And it was, I mean, the, the film is, is, it's a very raw, it's very raw in tone. And I think him kind of just 
speaking, you know, honestly about, you know, his views on the whole thing, you know, I can tell that, you know, he really went there. Those feelings, I think, were really, really re real. And, you know, I applaud him for that. Unfortunately, that speech he gives, you know, near, near the end of the film, though a very powerful speech, it suffers from the script's handle on nuance. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a second. Now, right before the hostage scene actually takes place, you know, it, the film doesn't really do any build up for it, which I thought was sort of a missed opportunity for me. You know, they, they kind of have this thing where you see Lincoln sort of gearing up to kind of, you know, do the hostage situation. And then it just cuts to all the gunshots, everything, you know, the violence just starts happening and bullets are just flying all over the place. And, you know, I, I felt like had it, had there been a build up of some kind, you know, I would have been more invested into that but it, it just sort of just happens it just it just happens but i really wanted to see how nate was going to you know have a handle on you know building suspense and tension you know just before all of the chaos actually happens and i didn't get to see that so you know that was you know kind of disappointing but hey now the premise for making a documentary for this uh hostage takeover it seemed a little bit over the top for me for a movie like this up until this point you know the movie feels like um, a real documentary and then when Lincoln sort of comes up to these kids and says no matter what you do don't stop filming <laughs> it just sort of took me out of it a little bit it was like you know with all of the realism that was happening him saying that I was like oh okay yep this is a movie now after the hostage actually takes place and everybody's sort of kind of you know binded up and on their knees and stuff like that um, the character Lincoln starts to uh, have this court scene and oh god it, it look I'm gonna be honest it, it felt a little bit too cartoony for me you know what I'm saying it just felt a little bit way over the top like now we're gonna have a, like courts in session this whole thing of you know trying the cop and I mean I get what the film was trying to do but just the execution of it all you know, it, it felt like some Dark Knight Rises type shit. You know what I'm saying? When everybody, when the people are, you know, <laughs> sentencing people because of some crimes that they deem that they don't agree with and stuff like that. But I can accept that in a Dark Knight Rises movie because it's a superhero movie. You know what I'm saying? It, that The stylistic approach to certain things, you know, can be forgiven. But a movie like this, him trying to take that same approach. It just seemed a little bit over the top and it just wasn't working for me. Not to mention the dialogue of this scene is very heavy handed. It's very on the nose and just, you know, it's like they, the nail is here and the dialogue is here and they're like just, uh, 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 uh. and it's almost as like I can feel this metaphorical hammer hitting my actual skull. Like, no lie, guys, I was actually getting a, a headache watching this another reason too is that i feel like this hot this hostage situation had very very low stakes i didn't really feel anything about the characters you know making it out alive or not in fact i actually um predicted that you know the, the main character lincoln wasn't gonna make it out alive you know what i'm saying i, I just i just kind of figured like yeah, this guy's not gonna make it out you know what i'm saying but i couldn't really um root for him in a way just because the stakes was just so low like the film sort of kind of just there's a john q approach to what nate was trying to do with 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 all of this the difference is in john q there's enough development in there for you to actually care and root for the character getting out of it so even when you know or maybe you could suspect that this character is not going to survive you're hoping to the to the most cl closest core of your being that he does and you're just rooting for denzel the whole way through and and you you probably think he's gonna die but the thing of it is you know it's like this has been they did su such a good job at like building his character and, and his motives and stuff like that it's you know you want him to survive even if something does happen you know what i mean i felt myself saying man i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish this movie you know if something happens to him with american skin it doesn't take the same approach they, they sort of gloss over all of those important elements for the characters and kind of just wants to wants to making it to the to the racial discussion and man those discussions god okay so let's let's get into the 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 meat and potatoes of this film okay <sighs> god damn it <laughs> now what i appreciated about this dialogue if you want to call it that um what i appreciated was that 
um, it allowed for both sides to um, say their piece on how they felt about, you know, politics in the world and, and, and things like that. And quite frankly, there's nothing new coming to the table. Like we all heard these um, these arguments before. We all heard, you know, the same sound bites and things. We saw it all over social media. We see it all in in these news news articles and stuff like that. But I was hoping to miss all of the you know, the yelling and the screaming and, the, you know, getting all outrageous and ah, things like that, that the film would bring us to some sort of middle ground, you know what I mean, where we can either I, I agree to disagree or just find some sort of solution to, to all of this. And <laughs> it, just, it just wasn't there. It's like they want to um, bring simple solutions to a very complex problem without talking about the complexities. You know, the conversation was very uncomfortable, but it also felt very, very one sided. It's like the minute the cops want to come in and talk about their views on the whole situation, you know, it's it's all shut down with with a bunch of rage and just anger and and, and race baiting and ah, rah, 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 to where it, it felt like I was on social media. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like I was on a whole Twitter thread. And somebody had said, had mentioned, you know, their opinion on the matter. And then you get all the comments <laughs> under that thread kind of just going, you know, you don't know about the, you know, white supremacy and racism, blah, 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 blah. And then next thing you know, nobody's getting anywhere because now, you know, people are, are people's feelings are hurt. Now, the ending is, is just, uh, the ending was was probably the most frustrating thing about this film. Now, the film attempts to bring uh, unity, you know, across the board as the film starts to wind down. And, you know, you would say maybe some humanity starts to creep in as, as well as as well as forgiveness. You know, aside from the fact that Lincoln unveils his ultimate plan, which was, well, I'm not going to say it because it's a spoiler, but, it, you know, it, it, that shit was silly. I was just like, really? You know, all, all this for what? But I'm not going to. Just watch the movie. You'll see what I'm talking about. But something happens when all everything seems to be all mellowed out, and then the film just kind of snatches it from you. You get what I'm saying? And and what you're left with is just this very cynical and pessimistic view of the world. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. It's like. What is the point of having these uncomfortable conversations if, in the end of it all, I'm just going to be angry? You know what I'm saying? It's like we're being uncomfortable for the sake of being uncomfortable instead of actually trying to weed out all of the bullshit so we can find uh, unity, truth, and a solution to all of this chaos. And instead, it's just I'm going to say my piece because I'm angry. You're going to say your piece because you're going to angry and you're angry. But where's the understanding and all of that? And the film just left me with all of those negative feelings. And I just started thinking, like, if this is a film that's just doing nothing but saying what it wants to say, but ultimately just making you even more angrier, which is just pissing you off. You know what I mean? Then what is the purpose of all this? You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm done being angry. I'm, 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 I'm tired. I'm just tired of hearing people get angry i know people are angry but there has to come a point to where somebody with common sense com comes in and says look let's see what we can do here you know what i'm saying we know it sucks and we know life is just unfair but ultimately we need to calm our asses down if the message is just to get you angry you know what, what's the point i just wasn't fucking with that part of the premise i just feel like the film needed more balance you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like more than ever, especially in this time, that's when all the craziness is going on. We need more films that show people disagreeing with each other and showing that it's OK to disagree with each other. But more so understand where the other person is coming from, not just proclamations that that one person is wrong 100 percent of the time. Point blank, period. You know, like. What's the, there's no point in talking to that person. You, you get what I'm saying? Part of the reason why, you know, this country is just so divided is that just people don't talk anymore. Instead, we yell at each other like this. <laughs> and more and more and more so often when I see conversations like this and dialogue like this, I see it going 
nowhere. And I'm sorry, I just feel like there has to be a better way with that. So, unfortunately, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. You know, I think I had a lot of promise, but such a missed opportunity, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I was getting a headache this entire thing. I'm just like, what are y'all doing? Like, like, come on, can y'all just see some sort of light? Like, is anybody going to come in with some common sense? And the film didn't allow for that, like, really at all. And, you know, I was just vastly disappointed. But I'm not going to really put too much... Uh, um, neg negative conversation on the actual film because I think all of the shortcomings comes from the script. Um, so I think I'm just more so frustrated with the script than anything. And Nate Parker did also write this write this film as well. So you know, I'm sorry. You know, that's on you, bud. <laughs> but on a side note, and a much more positive note, I am really, really happy that Nate Parker came back out. You know, in the film world and, and started filmmaking again. You know, I think Birth of, Birth of a Nation was a damn good job for his debut and I really enjoy Birth of a Nation. I really did. And, you know, I feel like the way he was treated, you know, doing that layout of of the film's release was just was just frankly unfair. But, you know, he 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 took on his hiatus and things like that. So I'm I'm actually really glad he's coming back out in the work works and, you know, coming out with some stuff. You know, and I'm and I am looking forward to seeing what else he can, you know, direct. Because I think he is a talented director. I think he has a lot of potential. Um but this this film was just was just uh just, no no so that was my review if you like this video hit that like button and if you love this video just hit subscribe man i'm seeing the analytics i know y'all be watching you know i'll see you guys in the next video okay take care